those tigers yeah they don't come this side or oh, sometimes they come over sometimes they come yeah. this side okay But excellent thank you So we recently decided to go on a trip to Goa, but this time it was a little different because we decided to meet a friend of ours called Mac, and he is a founder of a company named The Local Beat, and uh, he promised us an experience which was very unique to something that we've done before, and he delivered. So this kind of tourism is basically called hinterland tourism, where they take us away from the beaches, away from the coastline, and more towards the forest areas of East Goa. So for this adventure, we had to wake up really early. So we were up by six, seven, and we met everyone else at the pickup point at nine, mm. and see what happened next. Ah. As the hero, standing over oh, there, yeah. the hero, <laughs> Mac. The Mac from the local beach. <laughs> okay, so. We've come here for breakfast. Goan pao. Go Is that pao? poi? Goan pao. 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 Puff rice. It's soaked overnight. Okay. Puff rice. Yeah. This is vada. 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 Fantastic. <laughs> That's a lot of it. <laughs> Rose. This, this is a roast. It's a gravy. Okay. Look at the ladle. Look at the ladle. It's so cute. Tarnasa rose. Tarnasa rose. Chutney. Oh, nice. Lovely. 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 They make it here at home. <laughs> My first footy chow. Tuta footy chow. Okay, so we've just stopped here at this location. What is this place called, Mac? We don't. We don't reveal location. You won't reveal. Okay, so we're not revealing this location. I love that. I love that. Everything is a uh, secret and private, and there's a reason behind that because Mac here, when he takes people out on these experiences, he wants them to have a very unique experience that no one else has ever had. So all these locations that we're at, for example, this. Undisclosed location over here with these guys. No one's ever going to hear about, and no one's going to be able to tell you that they have had this experience as well. This is all unique to anyone who travels with Mac on his local beat tour. So, when you guys come here, just be sure to know that you will be getting an experience that no one else has ever got in Goa. <laughs> Cheers. कितना tasty आपका खाना? My God, good. it's too good. आपको अच्छा लगता है जब ऐसे लोग आते हैं. अच्छा लगता है ना? Very nice. <laughs> all right, so I just feel like I need to mention this. When we stopped there for breakfast, there was nothing anywhere in sight. There was no human in sight. Yeah. It was just this one hut, and I was like, <laughs> "Is this is this going to be okay? The food, but how is it?" So hygienic, so well prepared. That lady got up so early in the morning to make that amazing breakfast. Very I mean, sweet of her. I love the hospitality. Like you literally felt like they felt so nice to host and cook for you. It was such a brilliant start to so, the trip. So exactly, so unexpected. Now yeah. this got me hyped for the rest of the trip. rest of the trip. So we've just taken a small break. We're like ten minutes away from the main destination. Kanupriya just wanted to use the loop, so taking a quick pit stop and then. Heading back again. Yeah, oh, lovely, like you so made. The convenience is bad. What they've done now is to put up tents here, do a bonfire here. You want to stay? I am game for that trip. Whatever we'll that's one. happening, whenever, whenever. So we finally stopped here at. Uh, I think the final uh, location where we are going to be uh, leaving our vehicles behind, and we're going to be walking through here through this fence. Now, and we've all been given life jackets because we're going to be entering the water as well. Now, nothing about this place or the location or the view has been disclosed to us at all. Mac didn't want to ruin it for us, so I can't wait to see what's up ahead. Go. Go for it. <laughs> So the guy who's going to be showing us around, uh, the guide who works with Local Beat, his name is Vijay. So he's done this a lot. He has a lot of years of experience. Right before entering this place, he goes, "Okay, so on the way, 
we'll find some snakes and spiders and all but that's it so casual it's the first time in goa i'm having an an, an experience of this sort like i said it's always been about the beaches the shacks the sea of course that has its own uh you know beauty to it but seeing that this also exists in goa is a breath of fresh air she's wearing a life jacket on land she thinks she's going to drown are you going to drown in the mud or the plants <laughs> no i have to carry it and i don't want to carry weight you're carrying yourself So we've been walking now for around five to ten minutes at the max. It's been quite a comfortable trek, not that tough. But definitely, if you're coming here, do not come here by yourself because the path is not very well defined. You'll need to have company with you. The locals over here who know the place, preferably local beat. And yeah, we can hear the water now. The excitement's building. I can't wait. Are you absolutely kidding me? set up a nice portable tent where we can go change have some privacy so that is where we came from this is above the waterfall and that is where we headed a little earlier Unfortunately we couldn't take our phones all the way over there because we had to cross a lot of water to get there. But that place is like a piece of heaven. I'm not even joking. That place right there. Oh my god. Vertical. We take it. Yeah. She wants vertical videos for her Instagram. Huh? Yes. yes. Finally, here sitting with Mac, the guy who started the local beat. So I had a few questions. Why did you begin this in the first place? I think there has been uh, a gross misrepresentation of Goa. It's a very lopsided or one-sided version of Goa, which has been the beach culture. The beaches, and, the parties. Yeah, and I think that has been pretty successful from a tourism perspective, and it has, of course, been a and it's not a name for Goa. Correct. But I think that was sort of one version of what Goa offers. And uh, you guys today have seen what Goa has got. Absolutely. Beyond. Absolutely. You know, you've got the forests, you've got the trees, Very you've surprised got... that this exists in the same place that I've been coming to for the past 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea this was a part of Goa. And all thanks to these guys. Yeah. yeah and that guy there. And, and Finally, Vijay. Vijay. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. He took very good care of us. Yeah. He's also a part of the local beat, guys. I mean, as far as I can tell, and you guys trust me, so you guys know, you come with these guys, you're in the safest hands possible. They got your back. That's all you need to know. Finally done with this little piece of heaven on earth. We are going to be walking back now towards our car. It'll take us around 20 minutes. The walk back, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty steep climb upwards, but after all of that, I think there's going to be a piece of cake. So, <laughs> chalo, see you guys on top. How's the climb, darling? Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm traffic. Ah, uh, yeah. One lonely soul. <laughs> and you're calling it traffic. Nonsense. So, we're finally here. Mac is just parking the car. We're gonna step in now exactly at the place where we stopped at first, where Kanu had to use the loo. Uh, can't wait to see what's there for lunch. Oh, what is this preparation? This is Fini. This is the main ingredient. <laughs> Fini. What we do, you know that ritual, no? What? What is it? You take it in your left hand. 
Take the drink in your left hand. Okay, dip your index finger. Uh, yeah. Finger behind. behind, both sides. I know in Rajasthan they do yes. this, they always do and that. And then you say, Viva Goa! Viva Goa! Viva Goa! <laughs> cheers! Like cheers to nice. the local beat. Oh my god, this is this is so good. He said like six words <laughs> in the past six hours. Also six words counted. <laughs> he maximum, I think he spoke two sentences, yeah. and both those sentences so, were a dig at Kanu. Everyone just knows target, target. It's like I have that red color on me. So as you can see we had a blast it was so much fun we felt like children and if you guys want to do the same thing go follow the local beat on Instagram and thank us later So all details in the description below book your tour now and go enjoy Goa like you've never before